A tragic 15 car accident, a 34 car field, but an even larger number of unanswered questions about how Dan Weldon died on October 16th. Newly released IndyCar reports cite several factors contributing to what became a perfect storm, but officials say no one reason can be singled out as the cause of the crash. It is impossible to determine with certainty that the result would have been any different if one or more of the factors did not exist. The drivers raced on a high banked oval and officials say the size of the field and the banking itself were not solely responsible for the crash. But the wide grooves at the speedway gave the drivers what officials called a limited racing surface. This movement not only allowed for increased car to car contact, but made it more difficult for drivers to predict the movement of other drivers around them. The traction uh, at high speeds that you have in an oval is, is key, and those grooves provide for much more grip for those tires on the track. Tim Ramsberger is with the Honda Grand Prix of St. Pete and knew Weldon through the racing community. The irony of all ironies is that Dan was testing the new car uh, that would be unveiled here in St. Petersburg in March, and you know safety was the key element for the new design, uh, as well as competition. Ramsberger says Honda Grand Prix of St. Pete will soon be honoring the city's favorite son, while IndyCar officials focus on making changes to the 2012 race cars. It's about the evolution of the race car and how we can continu continue to work on making it safer. And that's what our goal is. James Jackson, ABC Action News.